Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, I'm just off, uh, away from the base right now, collecting some trees, uh, getting some biomass together. I, uh, oh, there it is. I made a, another container, made a green one for biomass, and yes, the lab's presence can be felt. It's right about here. If I go back over here, I'll get another spike, just a brief one. If I go back over here, and... It wasn't that bad that time. Uh, I've been getting a few of them like right around here. I can't really see how far we are. We're about 500 meters. Uh, yeah, definitely been getting a couple of lag spikes. Uh, I've been doing a little more testing on uh, the whole priority system and the push mechanism on conveyors. And there is something interesting I noticed with the conveyor connectors. And uh, I'll show you that once we get back there. Uh, how am I doing here? Uh, I cut down one more. Why not? Uh, by the way, I have been going green when I do this. I'm only taking the pink trees, taking the pink trees down. I'm leaving the green ones. Whoa! Ow! Oh. First death of the season. All right. That was. I've had too many close calls. That was the final one. I'll bring it back. I'm back. I know it's dark, but I thought I'd just show you this. I don't know how well it's going to show up in the video, but I have found the lag border. It's actually right around that tree there, somewhere. So you go along, and then I crossed it. Hang on. It's here somewhere. You can feel it come back this way, and go back this way, and it should be there. There it is. Something tells me by the time we get to like episode 50, unless I start building somewhere else, it's going to be an absolute nightmare. And this I've noticed too. Uh, when you basically when you reload the game, like respawning, for instance, uh, vehicles are actually lower than their original height. Uh, another side note too: might be smart to label your stasis chambers. Go into the config menu and build vision and rename it. Because then you load it up and you see four stasis chambers. Well, I have one up at the north, I have one at the south, I have one at the lab. I have no idea where the fourth one is. Anyway, uh, I'm going to drop this off, uh, bring up some daytime, and then we're going to uh, do a little bit of show and tell I guess with the conveyors and then we're gonna do a little bit of work around here so I'll be right back and here we are so as you can see I have a, the same printer with the conveyor port set up on one side I have a conveyor connector to another conveyor connector and a container and on the other end I got maybe about a dozen pieces uh, right now I have this filled up full so I'm just gonna leave a spot in there uh, this is full it actually can see other, the other containers now, even though this is going through like 12 different sections and this is only going through, say, three if you count the gap in between, it'll automatically force it into this container, as you will see. See, it put it in there instead of putting it in here, even though there's a stack in here. Uh, the only way it'll actually work, and I know it does actually go in there, because if you fill this up, then it will actually go into that other container. And as you'll be able to see, two frames. So that's something else you can do too. If you want to avoid, you know, if you want to set up a printer to only be outputting to one side, just put, hook up conveyor connectors on one end, and the other side just have a hard line, I'm using air quotes here in case you can't see it, uh, well of course you can't see it because I don't have a face cam, but uh, yeah, so I'll take the hard line no matter what unless it's absolutely full, then it will take the conveyor connectors, so you can use this for, you know what I mean, trying to keep your system free so you only have the minor input and output, for instance, through here, but the output of the printer is only going through here connecting to this container, not to whatever's on this side. So that's something that's interesting to use. Now, if you were to uh, sort of redesign my idea here, and I actually changed this a little bit to 
just for whatever. Now he had a couple extra blocks on there, and it was a little bulkier. So what I did is I put the T section here, and I put the hover pad on here, and then again you got the connector. And so what it's basically doing is you got this conveyor connector connected to this conveyor connector, and that's going to be your permanent connection. That's your your swivel, and then down here is your actual connection point. Uh, he originally had it right here, and this was uh, I think his name was Sean Mack. Uh, but he had to drop down here, and it was actually one block lower. But it, for me, it was clipping, and I was trying to do other ways of doing it. I figured if I did it this way, it seems to work pretty good. So when you turn the hover pad on, it just lifts it up and breaks the connection. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change everything over up, to, up there to this, because I'm still having sticking issues, and I know what's going on with it. Uh, I've tried even switching this back over to, con to conveyors, but again... They are still switching and sticking. And if I can get in here, I will show you. As you can see, it's it's stuck. And I thought because the conveyors don't actually have an attachable surface on the outside that they wouldn't touch. But it's it's not about that. I think it's got something to do with the grid because they're perfectly aligned on the grid. If I had this stack here instead of here, maybe it wouldn't stick. And we can actually try this. So get back into build vision here go with seven and so now technically this would not ever stick here just because of the fact that it's touching the corner and not actually a flat surface but Either way, I'm actually going to use his idea because it only uses one hover pad instead of three like mine, but as you can see, that stays a little more close. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch this, all of these over up to this design here, and then we're going to carry on to getting this side hooked up. And uh, this side here is going to be set up a little bit differently. It's good. They're, they are going to have their own miners. They will have access to these containers, and only these printers will have access to these containers. Uh, they will have their own uh, miners set on specific items, one for iron, one for silicone, one for carbon. And that way, if I ever need frames or plates, whatever, it's everything's here, and I can easily access it at the same time, too. It's so far down the line of the system, it's never going to end up back here unless these containers are filled up. So, yeah, yeah, and I won't have to worry about uh, these conveyor connectors overriding that just because of the fact that this is going to be hard-lined right to the printer where this is hard-lined to the system with about 10 times as much piping. So let me get this all switched over and we'll uh, take it for a test run. And that is done. As you see, I went ahead and did the other side too. I haven't set up the printers for anything, but uh, they're ready to go. So let me get it going. Uh, one of the things I didn't notice is I actually had that block offset. You see how it's on the left on this side, it's on the left on that side. So that's why these don't line up, but that's okay because even this one will still connect to here. If, uh, if I can turn this off. See, still connects. Green. And I made them red just because they're moving parts. So, <laughs> just for that case. Alright, now for the next part. Uh, the next part, since we've got this set up, is now we have to split the systems up. Because right now I have everything on one conveyor system. And basically all these containers here, I want connected underground to that line of printers over there on the left. Um, the water line coming in... It's going to be cut off of this line and it's going to be hooked up directly to this pipe here, which is going to feed the power plant. Uh, the power plant is going to get disconnected on the other side for the storage system. And so far, the only thing I can really think of is I'm going to go underground. I've already done a little bit of digging underneath, but it's going to be basically severed right here. And it's going to go down to the floor. And basically, I'm going to have. Uh, one box, oh, one box with the switches, and that'll be for all the containers. Then I'll have another box, which is just a storage up there, which is going to probably be, I'll probably cut it down to four containers, just just because I'm not going to have it flooded with anything. Uh, the main system is going to have its own carbon miner, and only carbon. I have 
done a little bit of digging underground here as you can see actually let's go let's go make our holes first so I know where to dig uh, this one this is where things get tricky because of the fact that this whole section here is floating I can't actually just disconnect it once it comes di free from that since it's not connected anywhere else and I will not be able to reconnect it so I have to take advantage of areas where it's connected to the wall here or connected to another pipe so the way I was going to do this one is I was thinking about having it at this end or the because it's closer and maybe I will do that um, yeah, everything's connected. Uh, let me do a quick save here. Okay. Saving and reloading is a lot easier than having to rebuild up this entire thing. Anyway, so I think we can do it right here. It's going to separate everything. But because of the fact that this is still attached to this structure, this is still attached to, attached to this structure, then I should have absolutely no problems connecting anything. I do have to dig down a little bit more so I know where to go but I've got pretty much close to here go in here we can get our tarmac out and it's just a matter of rotate like so and build in oh I already have the conveyor out there just took an elbow up to it and since I find orange We're going to go down, find it, and hook up a container to it, make sure that we can actually still see stuff. And at the same time, too, I can show you what I've done down here and what I'm going to plan on doing down here with the other printers. Because the other printers, like I said, are going to be a little more different. They're not going to be fully automated. They're going to be on demand. But when on demand, I want to be able to do like one or two hundred if I need to. So I got the conveyors over here. As you can see, this is the second row of printers that aren't set up. I do did find a uh, deposit here, so I'll have one miner here for iron, one here for silicone, one here for carbon. All three of those will be hooked up into this line here, which is feeding these printers, which is also connected to the containers. And so since we're here, let's can I get that piece of rock out? Okay, good. So we are almost there. So the printer is here, so it should be. Where is it? And it should be somewhere around here. I'm trying to think it should be lined up with the wall. Okay, I can see the switch box. And the switch board. There's my hole. Don't anybody take that out of context, please. <laughs> okay, there we go. So now, let's uh, get a small container on there and see if we have connection mm, yeah we don't need to have our pads anymore uh, I was thinking about trying to get um, conveyor connectors on all the machines just to prevent them from getting flooded uh, yes that is a positive so we have all our containers alright so now I gotta hook these up to these and it just happens to be in perfect line too Right? No, it's not. All right. So what we do is this, and I'm gonna carry on along to here. I'm gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave a T section, probably right around here somewhere, so we can patch into these miners. So let me get this done, and I'll bring you back when it's time for the miners. It's all set up now. I got it hooked up to all six uh, printers. As soon as I finished up that last joint, oh yes, there was a leg spike. But that won't be too, that will be going away soon. Now what I want to do is I'm actually going to take make use of the T-section that we have now. Or the T-section, the cross-section. I'm going to rotate this this way. Just because I had it in the wrong alignment. Like so. And go over here and we'll put two of them. One more. Yeah, that should work. And we'll go ahead with 
this guy here. Um, now nah, we're done with the canary characters for now. Rotate like so. And then, like two should be enough. Nope. I'm thinking about putting like an access door or floor or hidden space to get in here besides a little gap over there that I created by mistake. I didn't see that. And hopefully I'd have enough room for these miners. One there. Oh, you're not gonna snap there, are you? You don't have enough room. No, you don't. This one has to go back and I can probably move that one over. Uh, let's do that. You know, when I go and click the mouse button and I don't get a reaction right away, I don't always assume that my mouse just didn't work. <laughs> you never know when it's going to be a lag and you start spam clicking and that's when you have mistakes. Alright, minor there. I saw you, where were you? That's what you do too. Your reticle will always connect the conveyor port if it can. And it still doesn't want to connect. Why? Uh, uh, let's go back one more. This one should be okay. And another. Come on. Come on. There we go. See, you could squeeze in there. I could squeeze in there. Now if it just connect for me. Come on. Where are you? There you are. One miner. Two miners. And show me three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's actually going to connect. I mean, I have to check this. Put a switch down here already and I connected it. Okay, good. So you're going to be iron. Oh, leg spike. Okay, turn that off. And let's see. Oh, I should connect the other two and get those set up as well. One, two. Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't have to even worry about them filling anything up because they're not even connected to anything right now. Alright, so you are iron. Okay, let's, uh... Let's make you pink, just because I've never used the color before. Alright, then we'll make you carbon. Or should you be silicone? Silicone, silicone. Anyway, so we'll make you carbon. And we'll make you silicone. And I'm just color coding them, so... Just so I know. Okay, now I'll uh, finish up the conveyor lines. And then we're gonna go outside and oh watch this leg spike. I wanna get these filled in. Now I'm wondering if I'm gonna be able to actually get that one now. I might have to crouch over here. There we go. And, like so, and, yes, yes, that is, that is real. Alright, let's, uh, make sure nothing's outputting, good. Uh, hopefully don't have to reset these, that's actually why I want to 
make sure I can actually get back down here, but since they're not actually outputting resources, I don't need to worry about it. Okay, so that is all connected, ready to go. Now we gotta go outside, and I can tell it's dark because I can tell by the music. So let me sleep, and I'll bring you back in the morning. And morning time. Okay, so now, what I want to do is I actually want to open this up and see if I can see those printers. Just make sure everything is connected. So is there silver? Compact container, which one is this? Ah, oh, this is the rest of the line because I haven't sorted everything. So yes, these are our printers. There's two of them. There should be six more that are unlabeled. Yeah, because that's the only printers I have are the unlabeled ones. So that is connected, good. Now to get the water hooked up. And what I'm thinking about it doing is using, possibly using the old water pipe. Uh, the storage I was talking about going underground and coming back up to the floor, We, I could do that. I've also thought about just redoing it upstairs, coming out the wall and just coming right into the side of this one and drop it down. Let's actually see how high this structure is gonna be. Uh, probably could do that and just take the other, other line out since I don't need it there actually I got the food and drink machine there do want to keep that set up and that and that one I think I could probably replace the T with an elbow because it's connected there and it's connected over here too Still in the same grid, so it should work. Let me get down here. Okay, okay. Now I do. I guess do a quick save and try not to break the game. Actually, where did I have this going? I think. Yeah, take this one out. So give me a second here. I actually have a a save file specifically set up for this project at hand, just in case. Take the wrong conveyor out. Okay, so this should actually be completely isolated from everything else. Let's find out. Alright, so that's this container here. I do have to organize this. There's two of the printers, another container. I really shouldn't see anything else in here except for what's in this container and next to me why am I seeing other large containers on here it's been severed there it's not connected there anymore it shouldn't be mm. oh those containers up there I got gotcha. you I was wondering why I wasn't seeing junk do one final check here. I'm pretty sure that's ever that's all worked out. This is an issue too, is those water pumps flooding the system. But so far everything looks hunky dory, except for it's a disorganized mess right now. Alright, that being said, I am going to I think that's what I'm gonna do. Like I said, I'm going to keep that other line there going from the storage down to the food, uh, food and drink area. Then I'm just going to have a second line coming out here into the building of this one. So that means i got to put walls up. And I think I think this time I'm actually going to use the inner walls because people have suggested I'd never use them. And why not? It's supposed to be like a storehouse anyways. Might as well look like a warehouse. Now, for this, this is uh, the challenge. We're going to have to leave that T there, unfortunately, because there's nothing I can do about that. If I take that elbow off, then this is going to be completely separated from this grid, so I won't be able to reconnect it, unless I use conveyor connectors, but I don't want to use those if I don't have to. With that being said, I think we'll probably just come right up here. Still a lot of lag. Oh yeah, the, the physics. Right, back in the build. Go to six. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. It wasn't connecting. Wasn't clicking. 
All right, now for this. Yes, I was holding my breath while I did that. <laughs> and I've noticed too, since I've started separating the lines, that as I add, like I'm doing now, it's not as bad as it has been. So that's definitely, I think it has to do with the, the whole updating of the building file, structure file, what do you want to call it? Because this, this whole structure here, including the train, the loader that's on the train, and all these containers themselves are classified at, or are loaded in memory as separate structures, you could call them. Structures, entities, as you add to it, it becomes bigger. And all, as far as I know, all it really is, is just uh, instruction. Basically, instruction set saying block A goes at 111 at uh, such and such rotation. Well, in this case, there's only 90 degree possible, 90 degree rotations, which is understandable considering how in depth things can get. Well, I won't say that because I, I built a lot of things that rotate on every direction possible. Anyway, let's create some lag. And I pray to God this is all connected. And I still have cold feet after my fiasco in season one when I was had the the four big long conveyor lines going half a kilometer and I was trying to start doing some work. That wasn't too bad. I think I did something wrong. Well, find out. Good, that box is still there. And... So all I should see on here is... This container, the two water pumps, the refinery... The generator, the food and drink machine... Oh yes, because I still have everything else connected. Alright, well that, we can still see the water pumps, so that's good. Now we go to the other side. And then we just, uh... Save time. If in doubt, save. Save many, many, many times. Oh, there's the lag. I screwed up there. Alright, so this should all be separated now. I can't actually go in there to check. I have to go over to here because this is actually still hooked up to that system. Look at that, instantaneous. Alright, so compact container, two water pumps, medium refinery, generator, and a food and drink machine. Awesome. So that is that side done. Now, I'm gonna go clean up the excess. Uh, one of the things I did uh, want to do too is because I'm going to be having biomass here from now on is I got to extend this another another pad. And we're going to do that right now. We're going to make this one green. I just dropped this here for now because I didn't really care at the time. I just wanted to fill it up. Plus I was a little disappointed that I was killed by a tree. <laughs> of all things to kill me in this game, especially the things that I built, I was killed by a tree. I guess I should have yelled timber before I dropped it. Uh, and then I'm going to just do the same thing, go across. I should be able to put one more outside. Uh, needless to say, the train station's not going here anymore. I don't know when we'll get to that, but we'll have to get to that soon enough. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned two, but tomorrow, that's if I get this episode up today, is going to be our next update. Should be our next update. And it should be, from what they say on their Trello, should be the large hover pads. Yes, that's going to be fun. And that viewer actually asked me to start doing some, like some fallout testing on the wheels and the hover pads and the air blades for torque and weightlifting and whatnot. Sorry. 
still somewhat the morning for me. No, oh, I actually want black now. Uh, okay. I tell you, this game has changed so much ever since they added the color. Just imagine all this being just white. Everything white. Alright, now I'll take that off. It's nice not having so much lag anymore. Right, and seven of these. Three, four, five, six, seven. And another elbow. So, and then I actually need one of those. I totally forgot about that. Um, yeah, we're not in the seating towels anymore. And we got blue for this. No, blue for this. Alright, uh, let me finish this up and uh, get the other one back on here and clean up and I'll bring you back for the next part. Okay, so that's all cleaned up. I got everything all set up now. Now to go upstairs, we're going to punch a hole in the wall to find out where we're going to put our, uh, our conveyor line. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go outside the, the wall here. And uh, for those watching this, there's going to be an update video shortly after this. It happened while I was recording, so we'll be seeing something new. I've already cheated, so I know what's going on. Well, I won't say cheated, but uh, yeah, we'll go right through here. And, is that going to work? Yeah, we'll do it right here. Alright, so now we need a wall with a conveyor. Is that one. Do that. We also need the small little inner ball section there. Or that short section. And what do we got? One. And we need to hover. I probably didn't need to hover, but let's uh, get that color up. And two. And a zappy zappy. Probably should add that at the top, but whatever. So now the question is, which containers do I want? Because this is all still hooked up. Are there anything in these ones? Empty. There's eight things in there, but I can always move that out. It's not that big of a deal. Ash, no, I have to keep. You know, I'll keep the fi top five connected. Bottom five connected. Trying to figure out how I'm going to do this now. <sighs> Let's see. Best way to do this. Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Since it's still on the grid. So then I'm just going to be using the top five. I don't claim to have OCD, but stuff like that, I can't, can't not notice it. Alright, that should give us a very quick turnaround on this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five large containers. Medium med bay, medium food and drink machine. And the two greenhouses. Perfect. Alright, now for this. So then I can just come right off of this conveyor here, and I'll probably just hook it right up to the wall. Like so. It doesn't really matter how it looks, it's not like we're ever going to be up here. This is just, uh, just a place to hide, up, place to hide all my junk. Can. And there. And go back down with that. And there we go. So 
So on this line here is going to connect to another box in the panel, which is just going to be hard lined to my storage and food and food and drink area. And that's just going to be my personal storage box. And I might get another one set up. I think I talked about this about having. I've actually thought about having like a. a a building loading area where let's say you want to go build something off somewhere and get a couple of containers connected with the conveyor connector so all I have to do is just go into the system and just transfer it over one by one by one. Now where do I want these things? Uh, let's actually go take care of this wall. I might actually take care of it myself because it is getting dark and not gonna be very entertaining, so I'll be back in a moment. There it is. Yeah. Looks kind of warehousey, I guess. I do have the line going through. I haven't connected anything there yet because there is one thing I actually forgot to do, and I forgot to get a a water pump and oh yeah, that's right. I had that all separated. Uh, yeah, I'll have to do it here. Water pump and a miner, just for the the food and drink area. So we're gonna go ahead and stick one of those in there, and we are not gonna do it orange. We are gonna do this one black, and we're gonna put one of these in here. I guess I gotta get that axis, whatever, and orange. So now I gotta find my way under here. I should have enough stuff on, enough parts on me to actually make it. So I need to go uh, past there. Flashlight, please. Carbon should be pretty easy to find. Uh, I do wanna, don't wanna have it on any production line whatsoever, just to avoid any unnecessary clogging. So this is the corner of the building, so I should just have to go straight this way and should have no problem finding silicone or carbon. Tons of silicone here. Wow. Yeah, there is my magical floor. I think one of the, one of the things I was thinking about doing this series, maybe maybe near the end after we get a bunch of work done around here is you know seeing if it's possible to actually get this lab off the ground to see what it's going to take to get everything you know what I mean like to be able to unplant this entire thing take it for a spin oh look at that carbon right here perfect alright and like that should be good now for water, where is the conveyor? That's right here. Water, I'm just gonna go straight down. And until we hit water. Oops, that's not that's not you. And there's water right there. So that was pretty easy. Take that out. And get back into conveyor mode. I will place a T. a T right here so get an elbow in like so and and, uh, and then I'll put the T here and that way I should be able to just drop straight down Let's see where you are right here and put one I think. And a few more. Or I could just be lazy and white in the hole. And I think I'll do that. Oops, 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get this water pump and this miner set up for carbon on the main system and I'll bring you back when it's time to actually get everything all connected and operational. And it is done. So now the next thing I gotta do is I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put my control panel. I think I'm gonna put it on this side here. Uh, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna have, probably end up having three boxes set up, but I'm gonna have two for now. So I'm probably gonna go ahead, and since I got a seven high ceiling in here anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and use the short inner walls with the conveyors. I'm gonna go on that on there, and you're already on my hot bar. This is, that's on the conveyor. Okay, now, where do I put them? Where do I put them? I'm probably... Because I gotta have two coming down. So I'll probably take... Uh, let's see, where are those switchboards? Okay, should be okay here. I probably should have saved before I did that. I'm gonna do that right now. And saved. And I probably should have... Uh, hit the stop recording button first before I hit escape but there we have it so what I want to do is I want to avoid these things from closing because I'm gonna have to move those switchboards downstairs so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place actually I'm not even gonna place the switchboard actually I will just so I can get rid of it quicker and by the way I did put a door in I just didn't bother using it because why not why not just do it this way? So let's go down here and connect you to there. And I just want to bypass all these. And then that way I can go one, two, three, four, five, six. So now if I take these out, then everything should stay engaged. Perfect. That way, I keep these things running. I don't have to worry about any backlog or whatnot. Uh, the buzzing, well, buzzing I get used to. <laughs> There's no, always something buzzing around this place. All right, and we got nothing on the back side. Okay, so we take that off. Uh, this is completely isolated, so we don't need to worry about that. Take that out. Um, now, see, there's another problem there. Is because of the fact that I have this floating. Uh, like there's actually no actual connection except for this one part here. I cannot touch this If I touch this then it's gonna break the connection So I had to uh, T on this end so I got to loop around and come down this side and then that one's gonna come down here and Connect through here So now I have to get some more ceiling panels with conveyors in Which are right there Go ahead and place these in. We'll put them on the back side, and I'll probably probably have my panel start right about here. So I will connect two lines to these upstairs, and I will bring you back. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna turn my light off. Let's go ahead and make sure I'm recording for one. <laughs> uh, the next thing I want to do is we're going to get the wall in. Now I want to figure out where I want to have my conveyor ports, or my chest I should say. Uh, so that's going to be too high, so I want them down the bottom then. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, one, two, three. Sure, we'll just put them right in front of the port. Why not? Yeah, that should be there. Yeah, let's do it right there. And then this one will go right here. And then basically I'm going to have one for the system. I think I have the system hooked up to here. That's the top line, yes. And that's going to be the system. This is going to be uh, the print the machines. And then I'm just going to have my control panel up top. And then I'll probably end up putting a third one here eventually for the external container. Let's get the right color, please. Thank you. So we'll do that. I'll probably leave a opening in the back side here just so I can get in there. Oh, that missed. Uh, 
to do this, and then I uh, just gotta hook up the conveyors to this, throw a couple of chests on, or containers, I don't know why I said chests, but uh, yeah, a couple containers on here, and then we'll, uh, we'll get everything all ready to go. Probably should put a transition joint there, but I don't care. I do not care. And I need more supplies, so give me a moment. Alright, so everything's pretty much hooked up except for uh, setting these switchboards up to uh, those switchboards up there, which I will do in a moment. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get power to these ones. Uh, I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do this. Another thing I did too, as I just did this now, is I forgot I had put a T section on the uh, the composite at the bottom, so I actually got that piggybacking over to this side here, so I can access the uh, the biomass in that container. The reason why it's not printing right now is, as you can see, is because the container's not actually in the, uh, close enough. So I'm gonna have to move that. So now I gotta go ahead and just connect these up to those ones up there, and then we should be ready. So give me a moment and do some more, and I'll be right back. Alright, that should be it. Uh, did have to go and put a miner on the power plant because I forgot to set up a miner for the carbon. Anyways, so there is our main storage. As you can see, we have a few containers and a bunch of other stuff I have to organize a little bit. Uh, that's the miner that I got set up for, uh, for water. That's to get fresh water going for us to drink. Uh, speaking of which, since I've got this separate, I should probably take this off uh, auto now. I will probably set up another food and drink machine on the power line, just because. Uh, just so we can make sure we get enough deuterium. Actually, yeah, I have two water pumps, just I might need another refiner, or uh, food and drink machine, yes, yes. So there we go, so we have, as you can see, an empty box. So we go ahead and we'll switch that one off. And we should have a container in a second. Yes. Well, two containers. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Hmm. My problem is, and I'm tired of running around, I'm just going to go down to this way, and I'm all hooked up to the same line. So that isn't necessarily an issue. It does keep everything separated. Or does it? No, it should go into those containers, like the printers up here, just because it is closer. Uh, as soon as I can get up here. Alright, so the amount of... Let's actually test this So Let's go ahead and... Uh, extension cord. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. So let's see what happens when... I fill up the inventory. Like that, and down. Let's just see where it goes. Let's go ahead and make one of these. And find out which magical box it goes into. Let's make sure I got everything here shut off. Or turned on in this case. So I want to see where that puts it. Then put it up there. Where did you go? Oh, I think it did. Alright, so this is one, two, three. So, one, two, three. It should be this one. As long as it goes in the large container, that's okay. I can deal with the leg. Yes. Perfect. Alright, so that is set up. Uh, I probably should have thought about that a little differently, but I wanted all six of these printers to be able to share that. 
Uh, these aren't going to be running all the time, so I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to have these set up for different things. Like uh, if we got frames over here, we'll go ahead and set this one up to get some power first. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Grab you, and I'll go hook up the rest. All right, now I should probably put that floor back in before I fall down. Not that it'll hurt. Come on, there you go. And go ahead and get my titanium color back. And I'll probably have the basic frames and reinforced frames the same color. So we'll go ahead and this will be our reinforced frames since it has a miner for iron, a miner for carbon, and a container of aluminum. It should have no problem crafting that. And then here we'll do the same thing with the frames. You got the aluminum, the carbon, and the cobalt. And then this one, what should we put in here? Level two circuits. Because we actually need these for air blades. Alright, let's actually color code that one green. We'll change that up on the wall here too so I know that. Let's turn that off. Green black and this way I know that top is top tier bottom is bottom tier okay and then what's next what is next clear all this out because I don't really actually need this stuff in here I just wanted to find out where it was gonna put it first all right so in here um, don't really need those mass produced don't really need anything mass produced to be honest, but it's always handy to have it. Uh, hmm. I'll probably end up using these more. So I'll make the mark two plating. Uh, what color should we make that? So we got that as composites. Let's make the mark two. No, no, colors here. Make it brown. Oh yeah, you need to uh, biomass. I'll get that container hooked up in a second. Alright, so that's Mark II plating. This is going to be... Well, we rarely need those. Um, could make this one fabrics. Why not? Uh, fabrics, we will make... Orange. Actually, no, we'll make that orange. I'll make this brown. No, not that one brown. This one brown. Uh, let's see. Brown. And orange. And the last one. Hmm. I'm not too sure about the last one. The last one might just be that specialty printer. Just so whenever we need a couple of those or we want to make batteries for whatever reason or the F Mark II fabrics, which I can't remember what they're used for. But anyways, let's go ahead and hook up that biomass container and we'll see how everything works out. So that should be it. We should be fully automated. We should be somewhat organized and prioritized. Oh, I fell. That's not the right button. All right. So now we just go ahead and pick up the Z container. I don't know if it's me, but this thing seems, seems to be a little bit more maneuverable today. Uh, I should almost replace those armor blocks with slopes. So it sort of guides me in a little bit better. I just don't know if those, if the slopes actually respond like ramps if you push another block against them. I don't know if that invisible hitbox is going to interfere. A little too heavy on the throttle there. And just drop down. Up. And 
just hook it up to the system. And when this should connect, I should have a couple of machines up and running right away. Yeah, I'm sure you felt saw that leg. All right, we are good. Let me just land this thing. We'll go check it out. Oops, there's a building in the way. Not used to having that there. Uh, in case you're wondering too, I think I, I don't know if I mentioned, but we're at 1,700 tons right now on the base, in the lab. And it's starting to grow. Uh, definitely gonna be quite the building when it's finally done this season. Bit of an auto save. Talking about it's a piece of cake. It's like lining a lining a flyer in a giant airplane or train, I should say. All right, let's turn that off. Let's go inside and see how we are doing. We'll do a full test on the system. Make sure everything is connected properly. So we got basic frames. Basic frames. Basic plating. Basic plating. We have mechanical parts. We have circuits. We have glass. We have composites that are in the line with everything else and I shouldn't have to worry about these because as far as I know that container on top is the closest and that should be that one there or this one oh there it is so it's going to go back in there and now for reinforced frames should be still in the printer. Oh yes, we're gonna see all the containers on this, that's right. But again, this isn't something that we're gonna be using all the time. Uh, maybe, but that's better than nothing. At least it's all gonna be organized. You can see the Mark II plating going to that printer there. Mark And the frames and the plating. So we can either I can either do it that way if I want to grab an abundance of stuff, or I can just go in here and grab it right out of the printer, which works too. So there we have it. We have a fully automated base uh, with somewhat organization. Uh, things can be better. What are you missing? Uh, silicon. I'm gonna go check that miner out. See if maybe. Things got disconnected, but I highly doubt it. Or if they got shut off. Ah. Yes. Carbon of overabundance. Ah, yeah, that's right. This is uh, glass. The circuits isn't pulling because I'm sure the circuits container is full. That is something I have to keep an eye on because it's producing more carbon than silicon, unfortunately. Alright, what else can we do here? Where else can we put this carbon? I have no idea. But anyways, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to go around and go through the storage upstairs, try to clear out whatever's left in the, the unconnected boxes. And and go from there and of course fill in holes here and there left right and center and yeah uh, next episode I think we're gonna start working on a project that's the wrong color I haven't decided what I'm gonna work on yet but we have our we have the technology we have the resources we have the parts and we have the imagination but anyways that's gonna be it for this episode I thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave me a like and I'll see you next time in the lab later